Now today I'll be showing how to test an ignition switch on an Acura TL. Now this comes from a subscriber, his name is Charlie, he has a 2005 Acura TL and he thinks his ignition switch is no longer good. Some typical symptoms, no start, the accessories don't power up, the vehicle stalls, even if he cannot remove the key from the switch as well. Now very quickly before we begin, I do have a separate video showing on how to test if your vehicle is not cranking, in other words, how to look at all of the components in terms of if power is getting to the starter. So if that's your issue, your vehicle is just not cranking when you turn the key, check out that other video. I'll include a link in the description box for you. That being said, let's jump right into it. Okay, so we will start by disconnecting the negative terminal to the battery. And that's because we'll be around a number of different electrical connections you don't want to take any chances now of course make sure that you have actually this is a little loose look at that good thing we're doing this uh, make sure that you have the codes for your radio because obviously if you don't have the code then you can't turn the radio back on so now we're working on the driver's side and you have a lower sill cover and I will splice in in a moment how to remove this your best bet is to have a trim removal set and I'll have a link to our Amazon affiliate site if you do need one of these typically it makes it a lot easier but let me just splice in and show you how to remove the cover it's quite simple it's essentially held in by a couple of clips and then the entire cover is removed you have clear access to the fuses as well as a number of relays. So this is what you'll be looking at. Fuses, relays, and then directly above it you have three connection points or three harnesses. At the 12 o'clock position there's a tab. You will press in that tab and pull on the body. Don't pull from the wires. Let me get a little comfortable here. Okay, so right on top, right here, where my index finger is, there's a tab. Press on that tab, and you're going to pull back. Okay, and we're going to test the ignition switch from this connection point and using a multimeter. Now this is a digital multimeter. Again, this comes from Amazon, around $20. If you need one ASAP, Lowe's, Home Depot, your local auto parts store tend to carry these. Now, do not become intimidated by these. They're very, very easy to use. Now in our case, we need to do a continuity test. That just verifies that two points make a connection. So as you can see, you have a number of different settings on the multimeter, but you want to look for the symbol. It looks like a Wi-Fi hotspot. And we just set it to that. And then in my case, I just have to hit function. And if you take a look, Right there, I see the symbol. Let me just turn on a light, maybe a little bit better. There we go. So, we have our Wi-Fi symbol. Now, if I take these two leads that come with the multimeter, I hear an audible alert, okay? So, just set the multimeter to the continuity setting. Now, what we're going to do is turn the key or insert the key into the ignition key and test a couple of things. We'll test the ignition on the accessory position, on the on position, and the start position. What I'll do in the description box below, I'll uh, let you know what each of these wires are for. If you're curious, I'm not going to do it now just because it's a little monotonous, but nonetheless, it will be in the description box if you're curious. Long story short, this black with the white wire on the left, that's the, a, the starting wire, okay? So when you turn the ignition key all the way, that's this guy right here. But that being said, what I'm going to do to, to help us out here, now this is not necessary, but it makes the job a little bit easier. I have these alligator clips. Let's get it in camera here. Okay, alligator clips. Not necessary, but, but makes it a little bit easier, and you'll see why in a moment. Now let's start by testing the accessory. Now I'll, I'll show you what I mean in a moment, but ultimately we're going to test this white with the red wire and then the white wire right here. So if you follow it, a little hard to see, but if you follow it, the white wire leads to this guy down here and the red with, I'm sorry, the white with the red leads to that guy right there. Now look to the side of the ignition switch and you'll find some numbers. We have zero, Roman numeral, number one, two and three. Number one is your accessory. This is if you just want to listen to the radio. 
Two, powers everything, the gauges, power windows, power locks, so on and so forth. Three is full start. So we want to verify or really test that the accessory, position number two, and full start works. That a signal is being sent from the switch down to the harness connector. That's all that we're doing. Very, very simple. So let's first start with the accessory. And this is where you'll see, okay, so I'm on accessory. And this is where you'll see that the alligator clips really help you out because it frees up your hands. Now, again, we're testing the white wire with the red stripe. So that's the top, top uh, second from the right. And then the white wire, which is right here, that's bottom, bottom right on the harness connector. One lead goes to the black lead, the other lead goes to red, and we should have continuity, and we do. That verifies at the accessory position, the ignition switch is good. Now, let's try it at position number two. Now for position number two, we're going to test the exact same wires that we just did. So the white with the red, and the solid white. After that, I'm going to keep the white with the red wire connected, so this one, and then we'll test the black with the red, so that would be this guy right here, second from the top left, and then the black with the yellow, which is top right all the way over. Now for position number two again, one, two. I still have the same hookup as the first test for the accessory, now, so that's good news. We still have continuity, but I'm going to disconnect the white wire. So I still have the white with the red wire attached. Let me put down the camera, but I'm going to now place this to the black with the red, and then the black with the yellow. So again, we're testing the black wire with the yellow stripe. That's the top right. This is what you want to hear. That's very good. And then again, the black with the red wire, which is third one over from the right. And there you go. So this is what you want to hear. Lastly, let's test the starting. Now there's a couple of tests for the starting function. So the first one is the white, that's the bottom right, and the black with the yellow wire, that's the top right. Okay, now this is where the alligator clips really come into play. I'll first set everything up, and then we'll turn the ignition key. So I have my alligator clips hooked up to the solid white, and the black with the yellow stripe. As you can see, I'm already hooked up, so let's just turn the ignition key here. And here we go. So this is your starting function, and that's in good shape. There's another one that we also have to test. And for this last test, I just have the solid white, and then the black wire with the white stripe. So it's really the bottom right and the bottom left of the harness connector. And what I'll do is I'll list all of these instructions in the description box. That way you can print it out and use my voice as a guide if you're using this on your cell phone, for example. It just makes it easier. But here we go. And there we go. So you want to do every single test. One, two, and three to verify the switch is working. So as you can see, it's quite simple to test the ignition switch. Now if you do need to replace the switch, you have to remove and replace the steering lock. Now I believe I saw one or two videos on YouTube. I don't know how detailed they are because I didn't click on them, but I did see the heading showing on how you can replace the steering lock. I imagine it's also on some forums, but if you need any help, please uh, leave a comment. I try to keep up on comments. You know, typically I get 75 a day, and on top of that I get emails. Uh, which a lot go into spam and I do apologize. I know a lot of you ask me certain things by the time I see it It could be three four months down the road because it's in spam So I have to figure out a way to streamline everything and I don't know how to do that yet I have to sort of sit down write it all out and figure out how to do that So I'm not ignoring anyone out there, but just I'll, what I'll do is today's April 15th. So let's say for uh, Let's say for the next month every day. I will check the comments on this video and if anyone needs help on how to replace the switch, just um, leave me a message or leave me a comment and then I'll, or you can just shoot me an email and then I'll, I'll find on uh, some schematics, maybe I can scan an email to you. You know, whatever I can help out, especially if you recently lost your job because of this uh, coronavirus and you're tight on cash, I will help you out. You know, that's why I'm here. So very, also very quickly, if you still have trouble starting your vehicle, you tested the switch, it's okay. 
you saw the other video that I did regarding the relays and how to test the starter. All of that is okay, but you still have trouble. You may have a, a problem with the immobilizer or the alarm system. I will have something uploaded. Hopefully I can do that tomorrow if it doesn't rain. So maybe two or three days I can have it uploaded and you can test the immobilizer. So with these three videos, you can really pinpoint if you have a problem. Okay, and as you can see, I try to make it as simplistic as possible. So anyone can just follow it in that sense. So stay well. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.